guys i never thought that someday one dollar one dollar will exchange for almost two thousand ah baba forgive my voice so oh. i've had flu for more than a week now so your girl has been down but we are back up by the grace of god you know so many things have happened that i've been wanting to talk about but ah i just i could not talk can you imagine it was very very frustrating as it is guys the cfa frank that is cameroon's money the money in togo togo's money ninja's money their currency in mali is now worth more than the naira oh father i need one minute my eyes are pushing me big time just because of that ah baba like how how did we get here and you know the sad thing is it's not as if the money can now buy more no 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 the inflation rate that we are experiencing right now in nigeria we have never experienced it a bag of rice is now eighty thousand naira yesterday somebody told me that it's eighty five thousand where she lives how is that possible when the monthly minimum wage is still thirty thousand naira for a lot of people i still remember the inflation in zimbabwe we were all making fun of zimbabweans at that time for paying millions of their dollars for a loaf of bread thank god that it's not that bad but how are people supposed to survive my people unfortunately those in office they don't even know that something is terribly wrong as in something is fundamentally and seriously wrong for example why would the president's son first of all he's not even in position to be addressing us uncle but i you in case you are watching but you, you are not the president you are not an official uncle you need to have a seat like seriously you are not in position to be addressing us we did not elect you or appoint you I, I, I don't get it if anything my brother you should be talking to daddy why would he be saying that we must endure if we are to reach the good side of our future <laughs> you need to take a seat now the problem with this statement is that you are not enjoying anything it's a very expensive something nobody in your family is enduring but you always want the people to endure has it quite up now it's not adding up i don't even know if our leaders know that it is the responsibility of the leaders to endure for the people even former president yakubu go and said the same thing when he visited dinumbu you know the government is trying their best to deal with the various problems uh, of the country but uh, with nigerians uh, don't you worry you can get criticized we've got to nigerians have to give uh, uh, the the president uh, the, you know time to get things really done can you imagine nobody is talking about these leaders sacrificing what can't I, because yakubu gohan is like 89 and i thought the man would talk some sense into the presidency of course people are not happy with what gohan said especially considering the fact that he now cited his own tenor as an example that uh, nigerians were also criticizing him when he was waging war against bia france that he was slow i think if i remembered i was told that famine I was fighting the war, I was too slow, and uh, you know, probably we, we can, Nigeria cannot make it, and that we should not seek for a, a, a discussion. Well, did we do it or not? Can you imagine? Excuse me, sir. Uh, did you do what? what? What did you do? You killed millions of your citizens. Are we boasting about this? Somebody that should be apologizing for that war, that senseless war. Can you imagine a whole president that should be asking for forgiveness? Hey, sir, you should be ashamed, though. Ah, at the age of 89, I ah, know. Wala, wow. But it's not just the president that is not enduring. We've all heard that our governors are now getting more monthly allocation than before so that they can take care of the people, but they are not doing it. Don't you see the governor of Lagos, Governor Sonwolu? Boni Oje, my father, in case you are watching. Right now, I, I envy the people of Lagos. The man has reduced work days to three days a week for grade level 1 to 14 and four days a week for grade level 15 to 17. That is something Edo State Governor did that, Kora State Governor did that, kudos to all of them. At least that will reduce how much people would have to spend on transportation. He has also slashed public transportation by 25% and he's opening up Sunday markets in 42 places where people can buy groceries at discounted prices, although you cannot buy more than 25,000 at a time. They're also partnering with Mama Put in different local government areas to serve food for between 1,000 to 1,500 people per local government every single day. If they serve 1,500 people every day in each local government, that is 45,000 people in each local government that will be fed 
every month. That should really, really help. And they are ensuring free delivery for pregnant women in all government hospitals in the state, including those that would need cesarean section. That is a huge relief for a lot of people. And they will be discounting some drugs at state government hospitals for those who are on medication. That is impressive. Of course, I would rather that people don't have to be queuing for food, but at least the man is doing something about it. The rest of you, what is your governor doing? What is your governor doing? You need to be tagging your governor. You need to be tagging your governor everywhere. You will say, see, what uh, governor Samuel is doing in Lagos? Yo, what are you doing? My father, my father, born, you, you will greet them respectfully because they like respect. <laughs> and then you will tell them what the governor of Lagos is doing. You will ask what they are doing. If they cannot do everything that Lagos state government is doing, they should be able to do something. So while we are upset with the president, predon, predon, you guys need to also hold your governors responsible. Otherwise, they will not do anything. People are already protesting left and right that they can barely eat three meals a day. Can you imagine the giant of Africa, Nigeria? In 2024, saying that they cannot eat three meals a day. So it's not as if these governors don't know what is happening, but many of them are wicked. Wickedness in Imba And the way things are going, people are really upset this time around. It looks like something is coming that will be way more than NSAS. Now, the funny thing, very, very disrespectful something in the middle of all this, eh? the Minister of State for Youth Development, Bone, my father, you know, do well. That is a 35 year old. Ayodele, Olawande, Ekwele, Onku, in case you are watching. The man said that. Uh, the president, President Nubu, is working to ensure an enabling environment for those of you that are Japa, those of you that are now living abroad. He said that so that you can come back and live a normal life. <laughs> But I'm trying not to laugh because it's not a laughing something, it's not a laughing matter. But you know what makes me laugh? The brother says so you can come back and live a normal life. I don't, that, that's the one that I don't understand. Uncle, next time you need to be more specific. What do you mean by normal life? Those of us that are living in the abroad, are we living an abnormal life? I don't know. Let me know. Are you living an abnormal life? You don't just say something like that. You need to be more specific. Kilo normal, kilo normal. What is normal in Nigeria? So we know. <laughs> so that as soon as we are landing in Nigeria like this, we know exactly what to expect. Are you going to say kidnapping is normal? Are you going to say a bag of rice for 80,000 is normal? You need to specify what normal is. So we know exactly what to expect, so that we are not shocked, as in, he's shocked. Now, according to him, the government is working towards providing an enabling environment where every Nigerian will thrive. I was like, what? Even somebody, what an irony. I don't know what these people think. I, sometimes, do they think that those of us that are living abroad don't know what is happening in Nigeria? Because many of us are constantly sending money home. And so we are aware that the money that we send home no longer buys what he used to buy. So now we have to increase what we are sending. But how can you blame my brother when the president himself, President Tinubu, said it during the General Assembly? We need you back home. Nigeria has arrived. You see, there you have it. There you have it. Nigeria has arrived. We have arrived. Nigeria has arrived. Hey, I can't sing. Emma Hello. Now, as a good citizen, you can trust your girl. Me, I've done what I have packed my bag. Next stop will be where Ibadan bus stop. Benny, I can see my Ibadan people. You know, too. Let me know where you guys are going back home so that we can meet at that popular Amala joint. You know exactly the one I'm talking about. Now, having said that, if there's anybody watching this video, if you're in Nigeria or in another country and you would like to work in America, move closer. Me, I'm not saying that you should japa because, of course, I can never ever tell anybody to japa because we need you to build our country. Amen, somebody. But I will always tell you guys about opportunities. Whenever I see opportunities, I will do I will tell you. <laughs> Like how you can get a work permit in America by applying for what is called the H-1B visa lottery. If you have a first degree, if you have first degree, no, if you don't have first degree, don't even bother yourself. It is a no, no. And please don't forget that this thing is a lottery. It is not guaranteed. It is a lottery. It is a work permit. So it is not green card. The lottery opens on March 6th and it will end on the 22nd of March. But I want you to be prepared ahead. That is why I'm telling you about it. Of course, you can always apply by yourself. It is cheaper to apply by yourself. $10, Sini. It's $10. However, you would need an employer information, which means you must have secured a job in America before you can apply, so you can put their information. But you can also go through Vesti, a company called Vesti, and let them apply for you. If you go through Vesti, they will charge you $100 to enter the lottery. Again, it is not a guarantee that you will be selected if they apply for you, but they've been doing this for years, so they know how to package you to increase your chances. Also, they work with recruiting agencies in order to get you placed with employers. So they already have recruiters that are looking for people that will work for some companies. So they will guide you on your application so that you can stand out. 
they will help you with your resume building and your preparation for the interview and they will link you with recruiters that will get you settled in the area of what job am I putting in my application so they will have that covered for you again you must have a degree to apply so you can book a session with them I've put the link to their calendar in the description you will see available times that they can meet with you one on one don't forget you will pay $100 but they will meet with you to go over everything again you can apply by yourself it is cheaper but you need employer information to enter or you can go through Vesti whichever one works for you if you are not able to make your payment with your card please email them their email is on the screen when you email them put in the subject that you're coming from Adela so that they can attend to you also so that I can get paid for advertising for them if they don't know you are coming from me I won't get paid so as you are helping your matter help my market as well <laughs> And please don't forget that this thing is a lottery. It is not guaranteed. It's a lottery. So this is not a work permit for you to work at a fast food restaurant or for you to be washing plates. No, this actually allows you to work in a professional field and make good money. As you guys can guess, Indians are the number one people that take advantage of this H-1B visa followed by the Chinese. So I've been asking, where are my African people? Thank God that Vesti is working with Africans. Now, for those who want to do business, you can also apply. Contact Vesti. They will tell you how you can be your own business owner in America through the H-1B visa. Yes, you can move to work and you will be the company that will be employing yourself. But please, contact Vesti so that they can guide you through that. If you are selected, you can come with your spouse. You can come with your children that are under the age of 21. But once you get to America, if I were you, I will start looking for how to transition to a green card holder, a resident, which again, Vesti can help you with whenever you're ready with that. If they pick you in the lottery, you will still pay processing fee to the government. You will pay lawyers but at least you are guaranteed moving to the US to work so don't forget that President Tinubu doesn't want you to jackpa so you did not hear about this opportunity from me I'm not even telling you to jackpa I'm just saying you can work in America you can still go back to Nigeria after you are done working meanwhile guys before I forget please your girl will be speaking at this year's Women Focus Canada's International Women's Day celebration celebration that will be on March 2nd, starting at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. That will be 5 p.m. Nigerian Time. Please join us virtually. Men and women are welcome. The link to join us is in the description below on the 2nd of March, 11 a.m. Eastern Time, 5 p.m. West African Time. We're trying to invest in women. We're trying to unlock growth. But it's not just for women. It's for both men and women. So I look forward to seeing you guys on that day. Please join us. All right, y'all. Did you click the thumbs up button? I know you enjoyed this video. Click the thumbs up button now. Alright y'all, it's Miriam and I'm keeping you right up in here. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram and if you yet to subscribe to my channel, I'm watching you on Plasma TV. Press the subscribe button and the bell button. Until next time, I will see you all later. Peace out! Peace out!